Hey guys, what's happening? Um, this I want to show you guys my board and what I'm doing right now. Uh, basically, for live, I'm in a wireless unit that I plug into this looper, which is a bypass looper that enables me to control my pedals uh, simultaneously or uh, to activate them simultaneously um, or to just make sure I'm not going through them, which is helpful for the whammy original whammy one. So right now what I'm using is a wireless system and um, first I'm going into the uh, the wah actually and then the tuner um, and then the whammy and uh, this is a just a delay I might use up there. I, I mix some of these up. That's what I use the, for sample samples and uh, if I'm playing with backing tracks I can just plug this into the direct box at the shows. Uh, when I'm at home recording, I would plug uh, I would plug my guitar into this and then I would go through into here so that I'm able to route my signal to different places. And this is just my channel changer for my Ampeg. It's a uh, Lee Jackson designed this so that I could use two at one time and it's just a simple reverb and uh, distortion uh, channel. So this is what I have going in from my guitar to the amp right there. I only need to use the wah, sometimes I use the whammy if there's songs I need to use the whammy for. And then in the effects loop, I use another loop, um, a, a loop master's looper here, so that I'm able to control various delay pedals um, and my flanger and my chorus. Um, and I can turn them on and off. Here's everything's bypassed, so I'm not going through any of those pedals. And then when I turn it on, I could have various one pedals on and off at the same time. So uh, what I use is a modded equalizer for a boost for my leads and so I could tweak out certain signals. Right now I have a bunch of different noise gates. Right now I'm using this uh, noise clamp and um, I like it because I could use my foot here to control the sense the, the, the difference uh, of that and then uh, here's an old DD2 that's a modded DD2 that sounds great and then I use this for longer delays. A lot of times I'll use two delays at one time and uh, here's an old 1983 Boss BF2 flanger and this I believe is from 79 or 80 uh, probably 79 Silver Screw Boss um, CE2, one of the best uh, choruses. Has the chip from the JC20. This is a 1980 Phase 90 but like uh, Eddie Van Halen used to use. So all, all in all, I usually am using my Maverick M2 Morley Wah, but right now that's an old modded uh, Bad Horsey that they modded for me. And this is a, one of those old original DM2 uh, analog boss delay pedals. Sometimes I'll put that in very different sound than a DD2, very, very different sound than the DD6. This is more digital sounding. This is, they're all very, very decent, but um, they're all different. So that is how I run my stuff for studio, uh, direct in, through for all of my stuff, and then I have it mic'd with a bunch of different mics and with different cabs. And for live, I just um, use the wireless and uh, all that's in there. I have it uh, plugged uh, in underneath this uh, uh, pedal, pedal board, uh, and uh, I have three Voodoo Lab uh, pedal powers uh, to control them. And over here I have um, some uh, little connectors I, I put under there uh, to uh, be able to plug my stuff in quickly and not have to plug in and out the pedals. So that is what I'm running right now. Uh, I switch these pedals up all the time. Here sometimes, uh, here's another one that's essentially the same board, uh, but I mix and match and then I have just all kinds of different pedals to try. So that's what I'm running, man. Let me know if there's anything else that I should I can do. Or, that's kind of some hints for uh, how I kind of do stuff here. So.